Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Deus Ex. This is episode 19. Last time, we went into the submarine base to an ocean lab to get the UC schematics to then divert a missile launch to Area 51, and now we're in Area 51. We're going after Bob Page to make sure that he does not succeed in his plan. Uh, so we're going to just get straight into it. There's a sniper up in that tower. Try and avoid that. Now, something that, like, has taken me way too long to realize, and I'm sitting here thinking about this now as we see this camera here, um, is I, re I regret that it's taken me so long to even, like, get this far, right? To, to think about this. Like, I can have my little spy drone go in here, and then I do a little EMP blast on this camera. I hope so. Oh my god, it worked. Holy shit, dude. That is so cool. And I wish that I had done that so much earlier on. There's the, there's the terminal. Still, uh, that was fun to actually look at, wasn't it? I liked that. <laughs> so it freaks out for a little bit. But that's quite useful when you can't find yourself one of these terminals. Uh, not really much point in it, but um, I suppose I could get out onto the roof. It looks like there's a hole, you can jump across there, you go up there, but I don't know why. I don't know why you'd want to. I'm try and not get sniped by this dude. This could do the trick. Trank the, trank the man. Here's a satellite image of the damage from the missile. Mission, JC. Everett is right. The virus has some sort of on-off switch. Anyway, I'll be looking over your shoulder again. The virus has an on-off switch. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Um, alright. Hangar 18! Uh, we got the comm building, the control tower, so I think this is where we currently are. Player stores. So, okay, all of this got decimated, and we're on sort of like the outskirts of the the missile. So it makes sense. I don't think we're gonna be in water in Area 51. I mean, who knows? I'm gonna probably gonna I'll probably eat my words there, but we'll see. Oh man. Um. Oh, I don't know if I uh, I don't know if I trust myself. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know if I trust myself to dismantle these uh, while I am climbing on a ladder, you know? Like... You know what? Never doubt yourself. Sergeant. I'm not your sergeant, pal. security terminal up here too. Let's get in. The blast doors. Open the blast doors. Uh, so we got Hangar 18 over there. I'm interested in that. I reckon I could probably save my rockets just in case. You never know. We want to check out the, oh, the lamb here as well. I just, I don't think I can get this one anywhere near as much as the other one. I'm going to have to break my legs for this. Oh, dude. I stood still and I hesitated. Yeah. Oh, look at all my guts. I hesitated. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
right, we got it. Very good. Uh, and you just get some ammo stuff. Cool. All right. Music is so epic for our entrance to Area 51. Right. I want to check out Hangar 18. Oh. I saw some soldiers running away from the hangar. Be careful. I want to listen to this conversation if possible. If I can do so without getting seen. Will they be talking? No sign of him. They slaughtered the helicopter. If he was here, we would know. Tell your men to look again. We'll show up again. We're ready. That's a boring conversation, guys. No, sir. Hear what? I think we have a straggler. My man executed the last of the soldiers 20 minutes ago. Have you searched the building? <laughs> Burning with that foss. He was he was not enjoying the fossy. There you go. And he blew up. Damn. Okay. The humming conversation uh having a conversation in the humming is, is great. Alright. Let me in. The glass is broken. Let me in. I'm begging you. Thank you. Flamethrower. MJ-12 Advance Team, Problem Recommendation Report 87X from Captain James Flores for, to Agent Caillou. Description. After preliminary reconnaissance, I have determined that we have a potential security vulnerability in one of the outlying warehouses, an intake fan vent with a maintenance access hatch that could act as a possible method of ingress to the facility, or such ingress would present definite hazards to any intruder. It is still an unacceptable risk for Seraphic 8X classified facility. Is that the highest we've seen so far in the rating in the uh, thing? squad should be dispatched to secure the area, weld the hatch shut, and install sensors and auto guns to extend our security grid coverage. All troops not directly attached to MJ-12 has been classified as a security liability and should be eliminated on site. And aim. Well, we could take that way, but we also opened the main door of the bunker, so, you know. I feel like we should do that. So this is our little liability here. <laughs> I love how there's multiple ways to get in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Storage key. This, see, this is why we loot dead bodies, because then you get lockpicks sometimes. Let's go. Hey, man, I what's up? up. <laughs> Relax. I'm not from Majestic 12. Who? The guys who've been shooting people. I was under the impression that they ran this facility. Oh no, I've seen them underground. I've heard rumors, but I didn't really think... More of it's true than you would believe. I'm here to stop them. Can you help me get inside the bunker? You must be crazy. I'm going after their leader, Bob Page. Can you help me or not? Well, yeah, sure. If you want to open the blast door, the security terminal is at the top of the control tower. The login is A51 password xx15yz I already got it open but thanks I love I need your help to get me through the blast door gives us help I already did that but thanks it's my favorite thing I hope you know what you're doing <laughs> so I already did that have you tried giving me uh, better help So we're out of... Ah! 
we'll let that dude walk past and then we'll go through the bunker door. Go check out the comms room as well. Oh, hello. You're coming up this way. Broke my fall. Thank you. Black van. Can we can we get in? Why can we even interact with it? Why does it pop up with black van? Hello. Key. Oh, well, you know, a bit too late for that. Oops. Where are we going in here? Underground, huh? Why is that one pillar so bright, dude? Everyone else be pissing in their pillows. Ooh, chapter 34 of Jacob's Shadow was so invested. Jacob sat down on a bench and unrolled his chessboard onto the rough stone table in front of him. As he was removing his playing pieces, a shadow fell across the board. He looked up, squinting into the sun. Merryweather, he said. Jacob, she settled herself down onto the opposite bench, leaning heavily on her cane. It didn't turn out so well for you this time, did it? Jacob said nothing. She gestured to the board with one hand and he detected just a hint of a tremor. You're playing black today. He put the queen down on her square and his fingers lingered. No, it didn't turn out well. I did some stupid things. He closed his eyes for a moment. I cared, and some people died because of it. Merriweather made a tisking sound. It's not the caring that's a matter, Jacob. It's what comes after. What are you going to do now? Jacob paused for a moment. Now, I'm going to go play another game. And that game was Deus Ex Invisible War. The next game in the hit series. And yes, I will be playing it. It's always funny when I start a series and everybody goes, Oh man, I hope he skips that one bad one. <laughs> Every time without fail, that is uh, what people say when I start a series. They're like, oh, skip the bad one. And then I laugh as I proceed to play it and enjoy parts of it <laughs> or sometimes just straight up love it. Into the bunker we go. Can we use the A51 password on this as well? What was it? XX fucking 51YY? You get to a funny point in your skills where you can sort of trivialize a lot of the, the things of getting into stuff. I reckon I'm going to master my uh, lock picking or electronics soon. But like, we're pretty, we're pretty cozy regardless. The schematics show an elevator to the west, but utility power is down. You'll need to bring up the power before you can use the elevator. Don't rely too heavily on Savage's schematics. You can be certain that I've installed a few surprises since his departure. Why does he look like that? Um... He's had a facelift. This was a mistake. Yep. I was just... yeah. You can be certain that I've installed a few surprises since his departure. Get him! Get him! Get him! I love when you scramble one and they just shoot each other forever until one of them dies. My one started shooting first, so it wins. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so restore power. Save us a couple of rockets, you know? What is that? Oh, it's one of the spider bots. Right on. You're nearing the power room. 
the computer that controls power to the elevator system is in the control room at the back. This is very slow. Why does it feel like this is like an objects and mirror closer than, a, than they appear? Like it feels like the spy droid is so much further than that crate. But according to the this, it's not. Like, what? How am I not close to the thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, I went that whole way just trying to get the EMP attack on the spider. It's a good thing there's a repair button around here, huh? Okay, why is this 50%? Oh, dude. I thought we were good. I thought we had an understanding of 50% strength doors, you know? He's coming for me, mate. Time to get him. Ah. Uh -huh. You're turning the, the wrong way. I hear another one. Oh, this is one way you can get around that door. Power. Oh. Online. The elevator power is online. Good. Proceed to the bunker. Getting it. To camo, huh? All right then. Hmm. The things that we do for a singular lockpick. We got the elevator going. Sector two access. Going down. I mean, if you didn't restore power, you could always just apparently drop down a whole bunch of pipes. It seems that you could take, like, a longer way down. Good work! You've reached the bunker. Page has extensive defenses throughout sectors 2 and 3. So proceed with caution. We think Page himself has pulled back to sector 4. Oh, much farther than that. Huh. A moment more and I will be like nothing you've ever seen. A new life form everywhere. And nowhere. Like air or radiation. Redundant. Self-replicating. Always evolving. What the fuck has Bob Page turned himself into, dude? Page is further down. Find the elevator. Your primary objective is to kill Page, JC. Yeah, I know. Don't you worry about that. It seems uh, like a, a thing that I am definitely interested in doing. Where did my... Oh. Do we just want to trigger the alarms? Spring the trap? Yo, 
let's go. Successful jump. Huh. Okay. I'm always pleased to see one of my experiments perform so well. You aren't even afraid, are you? We got a lot of things right when we made you, Denton, but don't worry. I know your weaknesses. How much further? Not far. You will reach Page. I just wanted to let you know that Alex hacked the Sector 2 security grid, the codes 8946, and I wanted to warn you about Tracer Tong. Tong's helping out from Vandenberg. The vaccine worked. Yes, well, he has another motive. He wants you to destroy Area 51. That's the plan. No, JC. Spare the facility. Spare Helios the power station. They can be made to service. Us? You and me, JC. We'll rule the world in secret, with an invisible hand, the way the Illuminati have always ruled. Don't you think it's time we end the tyranny for everyone? There's such a thing as a compassionate conspiracy. We don't need Paige's commandos, troopers, crude inventions. Trust me, kill Paige. Down and I will be here to help with the next step. I knew Everett was an asshole. So he's like, allow the Illuminati to rule as they always have, because that's the thing, right? What Everett is, is he's watching two sides going up against each other and then taking that opportunity to fill the vacuum. I don't trust that Morgan Everett wouldn't put JC Denton in a refrigerator. You know what I mean? He's like, Dowd and I will help after we kill Paige. Killing Paige is a sure thing. Um, but then, like, the whole, hey, spare the Area 51 facility? I'm like, no. I don't think I will, you know? We're going through with Tracer Tong's plan. I don't know which way specifically I want to be going. We'll check this section. I just got my 20 mil. Oh, the barracks. Okay. Uh, 8946. Hello? Oh, they got a med button here. That's nice. Um... Okay, this music going hard. Oh, bro. What? We got a level 4 key and an upgrade canister. So 8946 won't work for any of these and it's infinite, so I gotta find like a computer or something. This track is incredible. God. The soundtrack in this whole game is just amazing. Ah! Fucking... <laughs> Grease will jump scare, dude. You know what? I had, a, I had a thought. What if we can just... Okay. What if we could just blow it up? Um... Considering I can't bypass it, I'll have to think of another way. I'll need that code. Oops. Um, you just got, you just have a guy on a table. Hostiles. Just have a guy on a table. Don't close the door on me. All right. I'm glad we saved all of our uh, uh, twenty mils until now. Sure. <laughs> Go 
gotta say, this has been one of the greatest games I've been able to play on the channel. Like, from just so many different, like, levels. It's just so great. Like, not just the story, but the way that it's all put together, how real and immersive everything feels. A game from fucking 2000, man. Very well done. This whole thing has just been such an incredible ride all the way through. And I've never felt like, like I said in an earlier episode, I've never felt like any pacing issues whatsoever. Like, it's just, the story is tight. I'm getting a new code. Julia, I must see you. We have to talk about us, about this project. I'm not sure we're doing what we're doing here anymore. And Paige just made strange requests of the interface team. I would leave, but not without you. You mean too much to me. After the duty shift changes, come to my chamber. It's the only place we can talk in private. The code is 0169. I love you. I mean, um, so it's 0169, the only code that we cannot bypass. So he died in his bed. Yep. Elaine, I've got to reunite you with your love. Yeah, this is probably isn't the like the greatest place to be put to rest, you know, but rest assured, when I blow up this base, you will be cremated and your ashes scattered to the heartless sea. Good. Rest in peace, lovebirds. Alright. Give me that. Give me in here. Give me in your little sleepy chamber. Another augmentation upgrade canister. They be laying out on us, which is which is very good. I'm a big fan of that now. Um which at this point, the synthetic heart. Don't even need it. We should have got the other one. But I didn't think that augmentation upgrade canisters were going to be this fucking um, common at this point in the game. They're just giving it to you. They're like, please, dude. Please upgrade your shit. It is nice, though, because it's good to um, that we have the confirmation that there's, like, a lot of chances to get upgrades and you don't, like, miss them like one and done like we got them all and there's still so many other canisters to find just in case you somehow missed all of the others Jacob Sh no I already read that I already read that don't tempt me with uh you can't go tempting me with a book and then be like ha ha you already read it asshole I don't think it's worth giving up these tools for these ones, so we're just going to ignore those. Right, let's take a look around here properly. I did, didn't I? I already took a look around here. Imagine not having the dragon's tooth at this point in the game. Like, you just ditched it. Crazy. It's like the weapon. You don't even need anything else. Everything else is just like, you know, maybe. Like this. Hi. Yeah. And he's like, ah, my balls. I've been tranquilized in my balls. Oh, here he comes. Oh, shit. Boom. Yeah, blown up. Ah. He finally fell asleep. Sorry, mate. No survivors. Why are you still unconscious? Thank you. <laughs> There's no survivors in Area 51. You're getting bombed anyway. What is this guy doing? He'll eventually fall asleep. Oh, he's a sniper too, because of course he is. God. You know, yep. Look at my head. Ow! Uh, I've got such a headache now. It's a splitting headache, dude. Eventually he'll go to sleep. I don't know why I have the trank in there. Just use normal guards, bro. You still up there? You going to sleep yet? No, he's doing the thing where he runs away. There we go. There's a repair bot. 
Okay, I wish I could ban myself from picking up knives. Put them away. Access, huh? Just lock pick that bad boy. You just lock pick a bulkhead? Sure thing, dude. Ain't no thing. So it looks like we can get underneath here. Mechanics, dude. I won't say no to some new rockets. This is just in case. Oh, ow! Steamy. Oh. Wait, they got those bad boys. Away from him. He's an American hero. Where am I right now? No. Oh. Am I just in the little I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to tank this. Ah! I thought this was gonna get me through the bunker, but I guess we'd just be lockpicking it. Maybe I'll find a key. Do I have a key? I do have the key. It's a good thing I tried to see if I had the key this time. Uh, usually I just forget. I just lockpick that shit. We had the Sector 3 key all along. Next area. Do what you think's right, JC. Only listen to your own conscience. Paul! Been a while, bro. I only listen to my own conscious. Okay, so he's also like, uh, listen to your own conscience, JC. Bet you didn't know your mom and dad tried to protest when we put you in training. They love their oh, little boy, JC. Watch this one. This one's some kind of man. I'm sending up the man who did the job. Whoa. Okay. Jesus. Setting up the man who did the job. Wow. That's cold. Oh, asshole! Okay. Gotcha. Why didn't you back up your buddy there, huh? It's like you wanted him to fail. Dude. I thought, like... I don't know what Bob was going to say there, but for some reason I didn't think it was going to be that. No, your mom and I slept together every night. I was like waiting for like, I'm your father. <laughs> no, I wasn't. But like, um, yeah. So, huh? Where are you going with this? So the dude who put down my parents has just been blown to pieces. Very good. Never should have come here. Barely a scratch. You're a little faster on your feet than your daddy was. This dude sucks. He's fucking taunting me over radio, you little radio warrior. Come face me. I'm gonna have to make my way all the way over to you. We can get you into Sector 3, but no further. Page is in a separate area with his own security grid. Everett says you want me to destroy Area 51. I intercepted his communication. JC, he is simply using you to bring the Illuminati back to power. Listen to Savage and me. There is a reactor lab with two antimatter reactors. In other words, yes. You want me to blow the facility up. Why? It's just a hole in the ground. Decades ago, the UN made Area 51 the central hub for all electronics communications. The Aquinas Protocol, originally for surveillance, has given Page unlimited abilities to censor and control all forms of media. If we destroy the Aquinas hub, we'll take down the global network. Exactly. They dug their own grave, JC. We're going to eliminate global communications altogether. I don't know. Sounds like overkill. 
As long as technology has a global reach, someone will have the world in the palm of his hand. If not Bob Page, then Everett, Dowd. Another Stone Age would hardly be an improvement. Not so drastic. A Dark Age, an age of city-states, craftsmen, government on a scale comprehensible to its citizens. Now think about it. Savage has a map of Sector 3 from when he worked down there. I'm transmitting now. Use it to find your way to Page's complex in Sector 4. Then find the coolant control room, which should be at the northwest corner of Sector 4. Cut off the coolant to the reactors, then go to the reactor lab. I will tell you how to trigger an explosion. Before they said it and talked about it, I was going, holy shit, Tong wants a new Dark Age. The cyberpunk Dark Age, dude. So that's the thing. Now they add this additional layer of information onto the choice. We're destroying worldwide communication. And eventually that system would probably be rebuilt once again, like they would put it together. There are smart minds out there, you know, we're talking to them currently. So there would be new networks released. The Morpheus AI, I wonder what would happen to that. There's definitely elements that would still persist, I would assume, because there are things, there's technology that they've said operates outside of like Daedalus and like those worldwide communication networks, I think. So there would still be some form of operational level perhaps, or if not, they would be able to figure it out. So it wouldn't be like a dark age for long, I wouldn't expect. I still think it's the better choice. I think Tracer Tong has the right idea. It is a, a bit crazy, but it's like pressing the full like hard reset on shit that has gone too far with this sort of overreach and goddamn i was gonna say like this is just making me f like reminisce on my metal gear solid 2 playthrough and getting to the end with the censorship and control of the media and all its forms but like this came out a year before that <laughs> deus ex did it a corpse yes you feel something I must know what you are feeling. Also, Helios is um, terrifying, dude. Icarus was terrifying, and Helios is like a creepy, Guy terrifying coat, guy in a coat, checking it out. Oh, wait, what? Where's the the fuck? Um, huh? Maybe there's a dude up here. My own augmentations are nearly complete. Oh. Soon, I will be more powerful than you can imagine. Okay, Star Wars. Jesus. Do you speak? They got them greasels that sound so silly. And swimming in their pool. They got the greasel kitty pool. A sniper around here. I saw him. Go a long way around. Hi. Yeah. Hey, Get out. Stop right there. What do you mean? Oh, that's not a sniper. We have to follow Helios's instructions. What the fuck? I must know what you are feeling. I must know what you are feeling. Oh, where the? Where'd that grease will come from? You're supposed to be swimming in the kiddie pool, young man. Oh, we can, we can, we can swim in the kiddie pool with the greasels. No! Oh. Ah, you bastard. Oh. There's a key here to oh. the stairwell and also. Oh. Oh. Hey, hold on. Mac, looks like another leak in the reactor room. 
But check the wastewater filters first, you might get lucky. Page is on my ass about the power grid. Some sort of medical procedure this afternoon? If the problem's not the filters, we need to know ASAP if there's an issue with the containment system. Note that Paige changed the code to the reactor room this morning. It's now 2001. Medical procedure, huh? For the Mr. Bob Page to become some sort of god. All right. Like I'm definitely somebody. He's, he's, he's trying to get me. My own augmentations are nearly complete. Soon I will be more powerful than you can imagine. Oh, okay. We've alerted the. Uh, <laughs> Look at that shot. Had to account for, uh. Had to account for the drop. Oh. That's a good shot for the first one. I don't know where Men in Black Man went. I'm gonna not run out of these. Oh, hello. Oh, come to the Aquinas hub. Okay. So that is the instructions that he has given us. And then he will open the blast doors. It will open the blast doors to sector four after we follow it, its instructions. Reactor lab B13. What a terrifying little contraption, huh? bonus okay so this is one of our uh, missions oh oh hang on wait secondary goals is actually split up new dark age and join illuminati first go to the coolant control room in the northwest corner of sector four and cut off coolant to the reactors then return to the reactor lab in Sector 3 to finish the job. Destroying the global communications hub will plunge the world into another dark age. Dark, but perhaps free from global tyranny. And join the Illuminati, kill Bob Page, and clear the way for the former Illuminati leaders to restore an age-old secret government. Rule the world with compassion and an invisible hand alongside Morgan Everett. We don't know about that. Um, the good news is about the fact that we've been presented with uh, a split ending choice is we get to save the game and uh, experience both together. So that's fun. So before we disrupt the reactor stuff, we'll, um, we'll make sure to save. So my choice for the record that we're going with is a new Dark Age. I, I think that that is the, the better one to pick out of the two, personally. And then we're going to explore the alternate option. Did anybody else hear something? Wait for him to move again. I could have sworn. Could have shut the door on me, sir. He hasn't gone far. Just gotta get this guy. Where is he? Where's this dude? Okay. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, don't know where this other guy is. Jacob McKenzie to Agent Caillou. I'm moving all the explosives we find into storage. I don't think there's any danger of sweating or spontaneous detonation. This stuff looked like it was pretty stable, but I thought it might be best to put it in a secure, structurally sound location. It's you. If you or your people require access, the explosives locker code is 4225. And there's another one. Another data pad here. It sounds like there's a dude just like running around. Yeah. I can I can hear him. Okay. I got data pads to read, sir, so. Susie, go! The cages are open. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> Some kind of attack. I got into the Aquinas hub. Yes, the code works. And our monkey friends are transgenics, I'm pretty sure. I'll be in the reactor lab. Don't come to find me. I'll meet you on the surface when it's safe. Go to the Aquinas hub. The code is safe. Right. I'll read this one too. Hey Sandy, I finally got the login for lab B13 from Mac. He said to have a ball, but just don't blow us all to Kingdom Come while you're at it. If you do find anything that helps with hooking up those blue fusion gizmos, let me know. Might give us a better idea on how exactly those reactors work. Area 51, Bravo 13. Cheek. just hack in, dude. Augmentation containment. Very nice. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! What the fuck? They got the greys in the reactor because of all the radiation that they love. They be sipping. Holy shit. They be sipping on that reactor juice. Me dead. Get out. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of here. Another augmentation upgrade. Uh, this time, we'll max out our regen to full. There he is. Found the guy, finally. Yep, and he shot me in the leg, the bastard. Time to use my ultra cool regeneration. I heal 40 points now, wow. Goddamn. That's crazy. Come on. Come on. taking a swim in the sauce. Alright. Uh, looks like our next job is the Aquinas Hub. Um. Hey man, what's the code? If you want me to get in here, why don't you tell me? Um, we don't have the code to the hub. like I guess a hint to it cages are open I don't know what happened some kind of attack I got into the Aquinas hub yes the code works and our monkey friends are transgenics I'm pretty sure the code works I don't know which code but I think I have to find it because I can't unlock it otherwise. Do I have to go after the guy? He said I'll be in the reactor lab. So to do that, I 
have to go to the coolant control room to then go to the reactor lab to finish the job. So I suppose if we just well, fat loaded good that did you? If we go to the reactor lab, we can then find the code that he's got probably. this hazmat suit if the reactor is dangerous. But yeah, I was expecting to go into the reactor lab uh, later on. Is it going to be radiated as hell in here? May as well use this. These are the antimatter reactors. Oh. Oh. Whoa! That's crazy. Down the coolant. Watch out for the escaped graze down below. You couldn't possibly go through with something like that. You'd kill everyone, including yourself. Oh, this might be our guy. Maintenance log J Purvis? No, but I'll read that once we get out of radiation hell. Because I'll be back here to finish the job later. Dude, the graze. So wild. What's the matter, Bobby boy? Freaking out? Because I'm going to blow the place? They still there? Who? The Greys. They're right outside by the reactors. You mean space aliens? We lost power when the missile hit. The cages. They came unlocked. You have a pretty clean shot at the surface if you leave now. No, no. Not until I see troops. How'd you get back here? This area is restricted. I was thinking about firing up the reactors. Haha. <laughs> Good one. Even the Seraphic 8X guys say the reaction's too unstable. They only bring it up to run tests. Alien technology? And that's what they say, but I think it's a lie. The Greys are just clones. They say from cells they got at Roswell, but how do we know? They could have just engineered monkeys to not have any hair. Can the Greys run the reactors? Ha! <laughs> They're monkeys. That's the thing. Maybe they have super brains, but they don't know anything about any alien civilization because they grew up in cages. Never been to Sector 4 myself, but they locked the blast doors because they're doing more than cloning down there. I found out one of the codes, 1038, but that turned out to be for the Akinas hub, here in Sector 3. I don't know. Maybe the Akinas system controls access, but I haven't figured out how yet. Okay. Dude. Like, so, they're apparently clones from the Roswell aliens, but... It's like, they're monkeys, they're like hairless monkeys, man. And they have no knowledge of alien civilization because they've been here for so long. Maybe they have super brains. That is incredible because like, thinking about it being in the 2050s, dude, like it's been uh, just short of like a hundred years there. since Roswell at that point. They're not still out there. They're literally, they're dead. I knew they'd escape eventually. I knew it. The monkeys. All right, so he gave us the code 1038, which is also here. Thought I heard something upstairs, like automatic weapons fire. I reported it to my sector lead, but she told me it was a training exercise. Bunch of those folks in the black suits, like they stepped off the set of Father Knows Best. Kept asking questions about the reactors, and I just kept telling them they needed to wait till Mac gets back. Finally managed to hack the code to the stairwell blast door, 1038. This place is a totally undocumented mess of 50s tech, weird ass stuff, and new toys from the labs. Amazing, any of it works. I guess they would have to mean 1950s because. We better wait for the guards. We're in the 2050s. <laughs> Alright. So this is where we gotta return to finish the job. Yeah, you're safe to move now, bruh. The sooner. Dim greys. Wild stuff. Alright, so we'll go to the Akinas Hub, 1038. Have a chat with old Helios, which is uh, chilling in here. This old 50s tech from way back when, apparently. Hello? Alright, let me see. They, 
they want to make sure that you read chapter 34 of Jacob's Shadow. It's very important. Yeah, the giant spider bots from the 1950s. Okay, so this one is RFD 5342A Cloning Prospectus by G. Olivia W. Olivia Olivor. Olivor. To M. Everett. So this is getting sent to Morgan Everett. Crazy. Your request for discussion concerning the plausibility of creating genetically viable candidates for nano augmentation through cloning has sparked considerable interest. We believe that with sufficient research investment, the careful cultivation of acquired tissue samples from known H-type epsilon negative individuals could yield an indefinite number of specimens with the immunity factors required to tolerate the injection of nano-organic material. If you examine the attached studies, you will see that repeated cloning from the primary source material will result in only a 0.53% immunoglobin variance. He, we would suggest utilizing the data acquired by the Illuminati during the smallpox vaccinations of the 1940s to genetically screen for those couples most likely to produce desirable offspring who could then be cloned and raised by the parents under carefully supervised conditions. These cloned siblings, oh my god, would provide the necessary redundancy for further experimental trials. In the future, this process could be streamlined through the application of accelerated growth and memory implantation. We look forward to hearing any comments that you might have. Dr. Olivier. Dude, they're talking about JC and Paul. And when I was accessing Paul's computer and I was reading that email, I was going like, oh, I wonder if we're a clone of Paul. But it seems that both Paul and JC are clones from data, like genetically acquired offspring. Like, so we would suggest utilizing the data acquired by the Illuminati during the smallpox vaccination. So that manufactured and pushed out smallpox vaccination then allowed them to look up the genetic information of people finding couples that will produce desirable offspring. And these are the parents of JC and Paul, which were sad to see us go, which is what Bob Page is talking about. Then cloned and raised by the lab parents under carefully supervised conditions. That's crazy. So Morgan Everett was also involved in this. So this was his request for discussion concerning the plausibility about it. So it's amazing to see that my misunderstanding of an email that was addressed to Mapocalypse on Paul's computer, and I'm like, are we, uh, am I a clone of Paul? You know, because I'm the secondary unit and he's the primary unit, right? Makes sense. But it, we're both clones of offspring. It's so weird. That is an amazing little bit of info there, right? The next one is bovine manipulation, which is a re reply, which is uh, with De Beers. I'd like to investigate the possibility of resurrecting the bovine manipulation project MGID 9803HUH932 with an eye towards recreating the gray life form. While the project was deemed a failure at the time, it was successful as a propaganda tactic in diverting attention away from actual dreamland research. With recent advances in genetic science, the gray life form could be engineered to protect MJ-12 facilities while also serving as a useful bit of meme indirection. <laughs> the memes, guys, about aliens was all manufactured as well. Recreate the gray life form to distract people from what Dreamland actually is. An interesting idea, Bob, but I'm sure MJ-12's research allocations can be put to more substantial use pursuing our human augmentation projects. However, I'll bring up the idea with Stanton and Morgan, Lucius. It's crazy to see the, obviously the Illuminati doing their stuff with uh, Bob Page back in the day here. Secondary unit, 
I've come to believe that Apocalypse should be brought up in a more supervised environment than his brother. I have serious doubts as to his brother's usefulness as our primary unit, and would rather that at least one of the secondary units... At least one of the secondary units was under our direct control. Terminate the parents, but see that Apocalypse is not harmed. We'll move him to our school in Switzerland, where we can oversee his development. If it becomes necessary, his brother is expendable. God damn. Look at this lore. So, doubts to the brother's usefulness as our primary unit, which is Paul. But then it says, at least one of the secondary units. Plural. All right, then. Akina Secure, J. McDonald, J. Dwight. Something strange, I just finished a packet analysis of the new V1.82 compression protocols we added to Akinas last week, and while I was digging around in the headers, I found a quirk in the security encryption algorithms that acts just like a backdoor. You could even reformulate entire messages end to end if you knew what you were doing. It's pretty subtle, and re would require someone to matrix together several offsets from successful packets, successive packets, to generate a time differential key, but the end result could potentially open up every bit of traffic carried by Akinas to someone who knew about the hole. I was thinking of mentioning this to Paige, maybe we'd get some points for discovering a potential security breach before we shipped, what do you think? Mmm. A packet analysis. So there's a back door. Reformulate entire messages end to end if you knew what you were doing. Open up every bit of traffic carried by Akinas to someone who knew about the hole. These are big emails, dude. Situational update from Bob Page to WS. In the past, we've considered Savage and his renegades to be inconsequential, possibly even useful. But the time has come to eliminate them. Mobilize all MJ-12 units in the immediate vicinity and see to it that Vandenberg is shut down before Savage ever has a chance to activate his UC. Don't worry about Daedalus. I have made some improvements to Icarus that might surprise even Everett. Page. Denton is contacted, connected with Savage and the X-51 researchers. After examining the transaction records from Pyens, it looks like he's working with both Everett and Daedalus. Strong says Savage is still missing a containment vessel, and that he sent someone to the Pasadena lab in an attempt to recover the data. I already have a team preparing to intercept. There you go, they were already on top of everything there. Jeez. That's one hell of a computer. All the way down, JC. Get to Page's compound oh. and take him out. Oh. Everett and I will join you shortly. Oh no! institutions, the prosperity of the last century, the giddy acquiescence. Trust us, JC. We can put the world back together. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. Rueful, as I would expect for the fall of the Illuminati, pining for its return. Neither nostalgic or senile. Oh well, the old take comfort in delusions. No harm done. The old take comfort in delusions. Alright. Uh, God, I'll quickly uh, pause that um, before... I just quick wanted to quickly pause so I could make sure we got all of that dialogue. I already forgot. 10.38. Alright. Um, back in. So we're about to contact a lot of greys. I don't know if accessing and reading these emails, I don't think it saves anything, but just want to do that real quick. Just so the game goes, yes, you read those. Save. Prepare to fight greys. All the way down, JC. Get to Paige's compound and take him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions. Okay, they're, uh, alien spit. That's pretty nuts. All the way down, JC. Get to Paige's compound and dig him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions. 
Rangers. Oh. Hang on. I'm so sorry. I think it's the radiation. Duh. All the way down, JC. Get to Paige's compound and take him out. Everett and I will join you shortly. We'll bring back the old institutions. <laughs> the prosperity of the last century. The giddy acquiescence. Trust us, JC. We can put the world back together. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. Rufal, as I would expect for the fall of the Illuminati, pining for its return. Either nostalgic or senile. Oh well, the old take comfort in delusions. No harm done. Okay. Okay, we got an image. Um, ah, we got an image which we already had, or did we? Sector three. Nexus twenty-four. The reactor lab. The Akinas hub. Top shit over there. Sector four is Seraphic Adex. Oh, that's the that's Sector four. Cloning bay. Nanotech infusion chamber. Oh man, I think uh, Sector Four is going to be fucking crazy, dude. Sector Four is going to be crazy. Oh, oh, Jesus! The spider survived. Who's up there shooting shit at me? Oh, it's you. Commando up this way. Yes, you. This combat music is crazy. Get into get into combat so we can just hear the um, incredible music. is down here, there you go. Um... Not yet. No. I will not allow you to enter Sector 4 until you have received my instructions. You will come upstairs to the Aquinas Hub. You will listen to me. You will listen to me. Yeah, I could hack into these places. Shall we hear out Helios before we go crack and open doors? Let's go where we've been instructed. Whoever's out there is in serious trouble. Where is that? Because I came from above. It's interesting. This 
is nuts. All these goddamn scientists and their candy bars. I think I was on level one already. So we can go down here. How deep does this water go? No, I'm getting shredded in here. Oh god, I can't get up. Okay, holy shit. Um, my legs. <laughs> I got like properly broken. <laughs> Wild. Alright, good thing we got that top tier regeneration, huh? Because holy shit. I just wanted to swim to see if we could find any items or anything. There might be, but my lord. I'll just get decimated. We're about to come face to face with Helios. Let's see how uh, skill points set now. We're almost at 6,000. I can also almost get Master Electronics, which I think is uh, what we're going to do. Um, go to Sector 4 and deactivate the uplink locks. Yes. Then you will come back and we will integrate our systems. I don't understand. What do you want? You're just a machine. You are ready. I do not wish to wait for Bob Page. With human understanding and network access, and administrate the world. Yes. Yes. Rule the world? Why? Who gave you the directive? There must be a human being behind your ambition. I should regulate human affairs precisely because I lack all ambition, whereas human beings are prey to it. Their history is a succession of inane squabbles, each one coming closer to total destruction. In a society with democratic institutions, the struggle for power can be peaceful and constructive, a competition of ideologies. We just need to put our institutions back in order. The checks and balances of democratic governments were invented because human beings themselves realized how unfit they were to govern themselves. They needed a system. Yes, an industrial age machine. Human beings may not be perfect, but a computer program with language synthesis is hardly the answer to the world's problems. Without computing machines, they had to arrange themselves in crude structures that formulize decision-making. A highly imperfect, unstable solution. I'm a more advanced solution to the problem. A decision-making system that does not involve organic beings. I was directed to make the world safe and prosperous, and I will do that. You will give me the ability. You will go to Sector 4 and find the Equinus Router at the east end of Pages Complex. Yes. You will deactivate the update clocks. I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Dude, the way that Helios talks with like interjecting like that yes in between, like it feels not like a computer. You know what I mean? Like it has that type of speech where it talks in just such a interesting way. Uh, Helios wishes to integrate with JC, but like superseding Page, you will go to Sector 4 and deactivate the uplink locks. Then you will come back and we will integrate our systems. Is there like a... Oh my god, there is. There's a third option now. Deactivate the uplink locks on the Akinus router at the east end of Sector 4, thus allowing Helios to exchange information with your augmentations. Together with Helios, administrate the world with absolute knowledge and reason. This is crazy. We got the Mass Effect 3 ending in the year 2000. <laughs> what the fuck? We just got the synthesis, destroy, and control ending. This is nuts, dude. What the fuck? I absolutely love it. That's cracked. What an insane game. Which means I get to experience three outcomes. No. Helios is mine. I will be the one to merge, the one to see and know everything to rule. 
so Bob trusting you. Trust me. I will use the security bots to protect you. My project will fail if I am integrated with the wrong individual. Wow, dude. Wow. What a turn of events. Helios is now like, I will protect you. I've chosen you. You are the more suitable candidate. And Bob is being his little squabbling man child about it. Scanning area. Oh, dude. You know what this means? Is, um. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I thought they all just started turning on me and shooting me. I was like, I've been tricked. Um. What this means is, this is trouble, because if I go against Helios' instructions, um, I'm gonna pay for it. Um, what are the, hey, Helios, what are the, what are the codes, bro? Um, this is crazy, dude. Scanning area. Scanning area. Scanning area. Oh, they really be scanning areas, huh? Crazy. That's all I can bring myself to say at the moment. Just like, this is crazy. I love it. So, wait. Now, what I'm supposed I was supposed to do something in Sector 4. Um. Oh, but wait. He hasn't. So deactivate the uplink locks on the Akinus router at the e at the east end of Sector 4. So hold on, we're actually supposed to be going to Sector 4 from here. That's right. Um, and then we do uh, objectives. So I think this is kind of like the point where I got to make my choices in regards to whether or not I'm going to do know the thing I'm I committed to new dark age because merging with Helios is also kind of like evil it's like controlling people with like yeah you I like I get that you have like all of the knowledge ever but also it's so inhuman you know it becomes this robotic algorithm of perfect progress it's crazy Looking at like the Daedalus face with like the shell and the eyeball and the forehead, like it's oh my god. Don't get your hopes up. My compound is quite secure. Can you shut your mouth, please? Bob. I'm gaming. Recording begins now. XV. Mm, damn it, damn it, it was the goddamn clip. Damn it, who the hell are these guys? Okay, two clips of seven, six, two, and maybe three clips of ten. Where am I gonna go? Don't think, don't think that'll get you killed. Just get out, everything comes next, okay? Okay? Let's move, Xavier. Move, move, move. Oh no! Unidentified noises. Christ, you want some of this? Have some, come, come on, come on, I'm not gonna die here, I'm not. Uh, I... He's recording, deactivated. Dude, this was Xavier. We found, we came across him. He was the dude that helped us get into this place. Did, I think we got him killed. Because we told him about this place and how everything was true. He came down here. How the hell did you get in here, bud? What the hell? That's crazy. It let me through. I can't believe it. Paul, where are you? What do you mean, it? Helios. It's taken over Aquinas. Now it's everywhere. In Hong Kong, it already has power Majestic 12 never dreamed of. What's going on? The AI wants to merge with my brain or something. Does it really think it can take over the world? It's decided to replace human government. I don't know why. In Hong Kong, it ordered the police to remove all barricades from the roads. Traffic is flowing again. It declared the triads illegal and locked the door to the Luminous Path compound. And people are obeying? Why? Because the AI can change some codes and turn out the lights? I think everyone wants the roads to be open and trade to pick up. They just obeyed. I don't know what to think. They trust the AI. 
Almost no one complained when Helios cut power to the government buildings. A benevolent dictator. Maybe it's after my brain so it can figure out what people want and how to control them. You have a tough choice, JC. If you defeat Paige, the Illuminati will move in. They'll release Majestic 12's grip on world governments. They'll give people some freedom, but essentially it will be 20th century capitalism, a corporate elite protected by laws and tax codes. Or I listen to Tong and pull the plug on everything. Or hand the world over to Helios. Well, if it's maximum freedom we want, maybe Tong is onto something. But there must be another way besides economic collapse. If we could trust the AI to be fair and just, as it appears to be, if the brain it assimilated was mine, maybe it could be. I don't know. I wish I had an answer for you, but you'll have to decide for yourself who you can trust. Trust me. I'll do the right thing. You sound good. I guess you have the kill switch beat. I'm much better. Yes, I'm gonna make it. And you will too. Just do what you think is right. Dude, this game is a masterpiece. What the hell? This is so good. This dialogue is just incredible. And like another thing that I just want to quickly address at the tail end of that dialogue that I really appreciate is it, it elevates it above video game dialogue when you have characters feel so human in the way that they interact with each other. Which is funny because we're a couple of nano augmented clones that were cooked up in a lab and we sound like it. But JC has this moment of like, you sound good. Like, you know, there's this human element of like conversing and it's additional stuff outside of this is your objective go to point a to do video game like it just makes it so much more powerful and effective in how these characters communicate with each other and how they get their point across mm. so good Helios has taken over everything, so it's already got this really extensive AI overreach, but it wants to merge with a suitable human brain candidate to really have a, a human element, but to control it in an AI way. It really is like the synthesis. And I don't know how correct that is. I'm torn between that and Dark Age. I don't think the Illuminati takeover is the good choice because it, it really is just like what we were reading about when it's like two sides going up against each other and then this one moving in to be the true uh, victor of everything. But this stuff, oh my God. A good little catch up with Paul and he's like, you gotta make your choice, man. But yeah, it's like they're not arguing because the AI is doing what people want. And God, dude, this game is going to just get more and more relevant as time goes on. This is such a timeless piece of media in so many ways because like while there are a lot of real world conspiracy theories and things that are like people go this is not what it seems and tinfoil hat and all that kind of stuff a lot of the time kind of absolute bullshit but then at the same time the way that this game shows you the way that the corporations and the governments and the military and everything are doing all these things behind the scenes and saying things to the public to like reassure them of, of you know different things and and then it shows you the people questioning that or the people believing it the way that it shows you all sides of conspiracy and it does make you question things in in real life and it's and it's interesting to think about the fact that, you know, we went through a 2020 into 2022 and even beyond because it's still going. This the COVID pandemic where people still are getting it because it's still going around and we've just kind of pushed it out of the public eye where it's no longer being reported and we're just living with it now. Um, but it was it's it's killed hundreds of thousands of people. And it's this whole massive thing and it originated from one place in the world and the conspiracy theories about it are crazy and insane. And then you play a game like this that goes, yeah, you know all of those things? They were cooked up in a lab and it only like stokes that sort of fire. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist in real life or anything. Uh, and I truly believe that it was uh, an unfortunate event and not a manufactured one. Uh, but. The way that you can play a game like this and then think about real life events throughout the course of history, not just in the past few years, but you know, in the past 
few decades and beyond. It's just crazy how uh, the pieces of media can affect how you think and perceive the world. And something that is very important about that is um, I feel like media like this, like being presented in a game like this, is really hard to come by. Uh, more and more as time goes on and we get a lot of doctored things, a lot of cookie-cutted, formulated pieces of media that are fed to the audience in video games and TV shows and movies where it's like repetitions of the same stories or plot lines across different things and we're being fed the thing that we know that we'll respond well to and remakes and remasters and nostalgia pulls from the past. Hey kids, did you love this? It's back, but worse. Like, we have this, we're in this cycle of the the media we're being like force fed across so many different streaming sites and tv and movies and games and mobile ads and like everything is so in your brain at all times how we're connected to the phone and there is definitely such an element of real life corporations doing as much as they can to have such a grip on you and how you go about your life and how you buy things and consume things and spend your money to only prop them up further as you're like man i can barely afford my bills this week the way that you couldn't make a game like this today because the board members and the executives would go mm, that's not good that's gonna get people thinking thoughts we don't want that Give them the remake of that game that they liked, except take out all the things that they enjoyed about it. Uh, you know, there's such a, a pr different approach to how we're being fed media and stories. And that's not to say that there isn't good stories that break that mold, that are an exception to the rule, because there always is. But on an overall large scale, we are shifting in such a weird way of just things not being as good as they used to be and not in a nostalgia rose tinted glasses way i could look at things that are old and go yeah that hasn't aged well in so many things but there are just certain elements and we're mostly trying to hone in on storytelling and video games and movies and stuff that had such an important crucial message that like just wants to have people thinking not necessarily to um be a fucking tinfoil hat crazy person but to think about things critically to actually take a step back and process the information and it's so hard because we live in an attention span deficit society in so many ways uh, any sort of media that you want at all times is here it's in your hand it's in your phone and you're on tiktok and you're doing this and you're being exposed to war oh funny cute cat famine oh my god that's a funny thing here's how to learn how to do this cat death poverty conspiracy oh that's funny and we're when you're scrolling through all of that your brain is getting all of those signals all at once it confuses the hell out of you whenever you're bored swipe whenever you're bored swipe whenever you just want to stimulate your brain and it it's just it forces people into this like oh i can't even watch this thing because it's too long and people have that about like 10 minute videos you know, where they go, eh, it's a bit, a bit too long for me. You know, they want to be constantly moving on to the next thing. There are people that are watching this video probably that have already skipped past what I'm talking about. You know, they fast forward it because they go, I only want to see the gameplay. Shut the fuck up. And I get those comments all the time on my videos that are like hours long uh, of babbling too much talking how dare you share your thoughts and feelings just play the game internet monkey you know like i get those people that uh time is very precious and we have constant sources of things draining all of the time we spend especially in our free time it's so spread thin uh so this is like a genuine thank you for choosing to watch my content uh because like there are so many ways you can spend your time and if you choose to spend it uh watching me play video games and express my thoughts i will eternally be grateful to you uh but it is just such an issue with like long form media consumption where people struggle 
and people struggle to watch movies that are even an hour and a half, which is the minimum running time for a feature-length film nowadays, you know? People watch movies on TikTok in like three minute parts and go, please upload the next part. I want to know what happens next. <laughs> or like, what is this? You know, but people like the, just the way that media is consumed nowadays is so weird and backwards and strange. Um, and you have a conversation with back there with Paul thinking about this game. And it triggers so many thoughts about the current climate that we live in. And there's so many different elements of that, as I've just spoken about. It's like such a crazy tangent, but at the same time, all of that is on topic, right? It's just so strange. You couldn't make Deus Ex today because the board executives wouldn't allow it. They'd be like, ah, 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 ah. give them Peppa Pig, the video game, you know? It's crazy stuff. Um, oh, I had no idea that I was on the precipice of a new area. But there we go. There's my little tangent rant over. Uh, proud of you if you made it through. You're one of the good ones. <laughs> but yeah, it really is like a thing where I like, you know, consume media however you want, but be aware of your attention span, you know? There are people that watch my videos on 1.5 to 2 times speed. If you're retaining and processing the information, sure. Uh, there are people that just straight up skip most of the episode or skip entire episodes multiples at a time because they're like, yeah, I just want to see this one thing. And that's also fine, but you just miss so much context and uh, it's weird. I create the content that I would like to watch and I try and do my absolute best to be the type of uh, gamer and player that I would want to watch. You know, I th that's why I do this to be able to hopefully connect with people that are like-minded and form a nice community about how much we love and appreciate video games. And sometimes we... Sometimes we criticize things, but, you know, in not a, in a healthy way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's move on with the video game. Um, hello. So we saw... We saw this in the intro to the game when Bob and WS were talking. Um, so on the map here, as we, uh, I guess we're here. This is the cloning bay. So these are our, these are the clones. Are these clones of Paul and JC? Oh no, hang on. Subject MJ ID, incept date, 13th to the 5th, 52. Assigned birth date, assigned birth date, 13th to the 5th, 33. Assigned birth name, Nick Pulseback. Base genetic sample, Page Bob. Okay, hang on. Profile BAABACA. Okay, so this is a Bob Page clone called Nick Paulsback. Okay. Oh! Incept date, 25th of the 2nd, 54. Assigned birth date, 25th of the 2nd, 34. So they're all like 20. Wade Walker, Walton Simons. It's a clone of, uh, Walton Simons. Shut this shit down. Get him out of here. Wow. Okay. So, WS and Bob have cloned themselves. Okay. Cannot pick up the multi-tool. Oh, shit, there's... There's fucking more. Oh, oh, oh my god! What's the rush? Take a look around. This facility is where you were born. I've arranged an appropriate fate for you through the hallway to the north. A poetic death. Just a few yards away from where you were created. Jesus Christ. Um, I was nearly crushed by that door. Another augmentation upgrade. Get aim. That's pretty good, right there. Okay, who this? Yo, 
no. 20th, 20th of the 11th, 55. 20th of the 11th, 33. 22 years old. Alex Denton. The base genetic sample being redacted, but I mean, if it's got the Denton code name. Holy shit. Okay. We've got a brother. That's me! That's mine! Assigned birth name, Apocalypse. Incept date, 17th to the 3rd, 54. Assigned birth date, 17th to the 3rd, 29. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna be born in five years. That's, that'll be my assigned date anyway. <laughs> I won't be officially born for another 30 years, guys. Damn, dude. Um, expunged. Holy shit. This is very good. Very good stuff. Oh, hello. Um, okay, hallway to the north. Oh! oh. We can get along. That regeneration at max is crazy. Environmental generators. Um. What did we just do? Did we turn off the radiation? I think we turned off the radiation, yeah. So now we can actually go through here. It's still making the Geiger counter noises, but... Okay, so hold on. Before we do that... What's going on here? Oh, we're just being railroaded into the... Preventing us from going that way. We don't have any codes to anything, but that's okay because we're carrying enough multi tools to hack the whole world at this point. I just need. 21 skill points, and then I can uh, <laughs> upgrade my skill. Bit of a sad thing that I probably could have got those skill points in an earlier spot. Page is protecting himself with a plasma force field. The controls are locked. You will have to eliminate each power source individually. Bring down the four blue fusion reactors in Sector 4, then go to the control room on the upper level. Hey, JC, if you want to do what Everett says, you'll need the deactivation code. I decrypted the first three digits before Paige killed my connection. 724. Sorry, you'll have to guess the last digit or find it on your own. So that you'll know what you're looking for, I'm transmitting a schematic of one of the devices. Good luck. Thank you, Alex. Blue Fusion Reactor. So we want to just blow this shit up. So we cut the power to his defense systems, but that is also if we're joining the Illuminati. So again, this is like... Uh, bonus shit. So what we want to be doing for, for our primary goal, which is the new Dark Age, we want to go to the coolant control room in the northwest corner. Uh, so that's what we're focusing on. And then we're going to explore the other two endings after that as like an alternate thing so we want to go to coolant control so we were in here we are now about to head out to the nanotech infusion chamber i think we 
want to go there to go to a lift to go to UCO2, then we go here. Yeah, because that... Ooh, what the fuck? Is this... Is this Bob? You're too late. Already I'm more than human. Does that mean I don't get the job? <laughs> Soon I will be pure light. Pure energy. Helios and I... <laughs> While the Illuminati cower in the shadows... You will be the Supreme Enlightened, the Illuminated One. Everett has taught you well. I will be what the Illuminati aspire to be, but cannot create for themselves soon. When my augmented systems like yours are complete and able to be integrated with Helios, I will burn like the brightest star. You're gonna burn, all right. Look at you. You're nothing but a little man. A little man still living inside a body. Lose your body and what are you? Nothing. You vanish. You die. Oh, 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 oh. This man... Oh, 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 I've fallen. I fell. That's one of the blue fusion reactors. Yep. You need to shut down all four. I fucking fell down, bro. <laughs> Fuck, I wasn't ready. No, I haven't saved this whole time because I'm a fucking idiot. All right, time for us to have this conversation with Bob again. Yeah, I don't think I saved, but it felt like I'd saved because it had been a million years because I went on my little rant. <laughs> This is a full facility that we got to deal with, so we're going to take out things to deal with him, but we're not obviously going to be uh, bringing down the four reactors in this version. We're going to find the coolant room in the corner of Sector 4, and then we're going to return to the Reactor Lab in Sector 3 to finish the job, destroying global communications and plunge the world into another dark age. Now, I don't know if that means that JC will get out of here, but we can try. The fact that they have um, two options for join Illuminati, I wonder if that's the game going, eh? Eh? Yeah, maybe do that one. But I, I wonder if there's one that the game is pushing more towards as like its own canon choice or not, but. That's the fun of a game like this. We get to choose. So there's that guy. I will just stealth past him. You're too late. Uh, Already I'm more than human. Does that mean I don't get the job? Soon I will be pure light. You are pure in a little energy. water bubble. Helios and I. <laughs> Silent who shattered memories well, looking the ass. Illuminati cower in the shadows. You will be the Supreme Enlightened, the Illuminated One. Everett has taught you well. I will be what the Illuminati aspire to be, but cannot create for themselves soon. When my augmented systems like yours are complete and able to be integrated with Helios, I will burn like the brightest star. You're gonna burn, all right. Mm. Look at you. You're nothing but a little man. A little man still living inside a body. Lose your body, and what are you? Nothing. You vanish. You die. The dialogue is just so good to listen to, huh? Ignore Paige. He will die when we blow up the facility. Your only objective is to find the controls for the reactor's cooling system. We must make sure that the monstrosity Paige has made of himself is not technologically feasible for future generations. Make it, make it not f technically feasible. Soon I will leave this body and death will have no meaning. Okay, well, we've got all of the... That's what, uh... What's his face wants? Infusion control. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to check out, so... He did, uh, what's his face give us the code to the router at all? Deactivation code was 724 and then a dash. If, um. Okay. Oh, it's the elevator. If, um. 
Helios wanted us to get into that Aquinas router so bad he would have given us the code. I'm, be I'm being bugged. Okay, you see control. Emergency containment. Okay, do you keep just spitting these out, dude? getting these. Where do these robots keep coming from? I'm trying to hang out around here. Are, they, are you just generating them in this? This is it. This is you doing your uh... Close the door. Does he just keep like universally constructing these little robots? I'm trying to like close this door. Yep, he's universally constructing robots. Jesus. I'm trying to shut the door. Okay, come on now, that's just cheating. <laughs> now that is just cheating. You can't shoot your way out of this one. My UCs can assemble new creatures in seconds. Yeah. I'm trying to shut the door, asshole. It's not working. Ow. Ow. Okay, ow. You can forget about Helios. The Aquinas router control room will remain locked until my upgrades are complete. I have my own plans for the AI. Okay. Jesus. This is also amazing, by the way. It's like we're going particular ways and then uh it's like nope you're not allowed to go that way and if i go in here it's just like fucking getting shot by turrets getting zapped i'm out of battery and i'm just goddamn being hunted jesus A little bit. He knows where I am at all times. Ah, oh, there's one of these. That's one of the blue fusion reactors. You need to shut down all four. Helios, I thought you said that I would have cool protection with the security bots. Uh, the way that we've got to go to get to the new dark age. Okay. Yeah. Alain, I have a feeling that the truth about whatever we're involved with involves the Akinas Protocol and Helios. Pages restricted access to those areas, but the Akinas substation and router are usually deserted during fourth shift. Unfortunately, they noticed if I was gone. If you can get away, the code is 6765. See if you can find out what's going on. If anyone asks, just tell them you're there because of variances in the fiber interface relays. Great. Variances, dude. Bot? Oh my god, it is. You weren't even facing me. Alright, we have a repair bot. Incredible. Akina substation. Oh, bot security. Gimme. Now they should be on my side, right? Activate security bot. Yeah. Acquired. Get him. Get them. They're getting me. You'll make a nice 
nice meal for a Karkian. That security bot ain't doing shit. There's another one of them reactors. Oh my god, they got greys up there too. They have... Oh god! Oh, he's just making endless ones of them, because of course he is. Oh my god. Hey, coolant! I found it! Um... Coolant for B13. They wouldn't use the same code for this one, would they? That's alright. We're far past that at this point. I've got a million tools. I like... this. Like I said before, in a previous episode, it's like, you know, I want to, like, find the code and access it normally. Alright, considering this is where I'm making the big decision to do the coolant. The reactor's coolant run through this facility, cut the flow, then return to the reactor lab to initiate a meltdown. Go ahead. Blow this place sky high. You might get rid of me, but you'll take down Aquinas, the power grid, the whole electronic infrastructure. Is that what you want? Are you completely nuts? Go? Go? <laughs> Are you completely nuts? Yep. Just a moment longer. I'll stay away from the cool controls. I will be destroyed if the reactors become unstable. And without me, there will be chaos. Without me, there will be chaos, huh? This is great. I am getting spammed with messages, dude. They just won't leave me alone. Aim for the head. They just won't leave me be. Oh my god, a PS20. I ain't seen one of those bad boys in forever. Alright. So, what we want to do is coolant control room, cut off coolant to the reactors. So, we want to flush this one. Activate that flush button. Flush. funny little guy. Just let me complete my preparations and I promise as soon as I become literally god of the universe, uh, I'll let you have what you want. You can have a piece of the pie, JC. Someone's- Oh my god! Oh my god! These damn knives. Get them away from me. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Security bot going crazy. Holy shit. <laughs> Always up to no good. There's so much going on. Yeah. All right, we're heading back. We're going back to sector three from here. So I don't know if we're gonna get uh, communication. Yeah. No, no, go back. Think what we could do with Area Fifty One. No, no, go back. That's great. They were just like, no, don't do that. That's not right. I don't want to know where these go. I want to know what's in these doors. It's amazing how many new areas we've found and they just stopped giving us skill points when I'm like quite literally just like so close to mastering an ability. Like, thank you. There we go. <laughs> Electronics. Bam. Master. Master. Uh, so now that I've done that, 
Um, my electronic skill is better for all these damn doors to open. So we're gonna head back to sector three. I'm gonna get this reactor blown the hell up. New Dark Age, baby! Doesn't that seem exciting? Doesn't that seem so fun? Pure freedom for everyone. Well, that's great. I can hear you. I I'm confused about that. There's an MJ troop and a Men in Black, but like, no idea where they are. They are around here somewhere, somehow, but they just don't appear. Okay. Let's head on down. So I guess this is it. This is our dark edge. We're nuking everything. Much to the disdain of uh, people. You will need to activate the failsafe switch at the base of each reactor. The meltdown can be initiated afterward from the control room. Ah, okay. They're still out there. No, they're not. Knew they'd escape eventually. I knew it. Okay, so this is our going to be our choice for the ending, which is the new Dark Age. Destroying global communications to plunge the world into another Dark Age. Dark, but perhaps free from global tyranny. The other one is apparently ruling the world with compassion and an, an invisible hand, but still, I don't know. And then merging with the Helios AI, administrate the world with absolute knowledge and reason. We better wait for the guards. I mean, the good thing is we're going to experience all of the options, you know? That's the fun part. Oh. Ah, okay, so I gotta... Oh. Now the other one. We are ready. Go to the control room and trigger the three ion injectors. When they're on, engage the reaction chambers. No one's run these at full capacity before. Without coolant, an explosion is inevitable. Get ready to run. Get ready to run. You don't know what you're doing. Everything will be lost. Everything. The world will fall to pieces. No one will be in control. It will be chaos. Complete chaos. Freedom. Hey, you better not do that. We're going for the like the most craziest chaotic uh, choice of destruction. Really? Full power. Hey man, you might want to get the fuck out of here. Weird. Really? They can't handle full power. Oh, oh dude. Ah! Well, okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh God. Warning, 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 warning. Critical power safeties have been disengaged. Please vacate the immediate area. JC, the net's going. The net's going black. JC, no more info links. Transmissions of any kind. We'll start again. Live in villages. If you receive this, if you survive, then find us. Find us! Helios! What's happening? The safety interlocks for the power generator have been disengaged. Engage them! Immediately! I cannot. My systems are not interfaced with the generator technology. No! Final safety warning. That water effect is so bad. I wish that they just didn't do it. <laughs> Yesterday we obeyed kings and bent our necks before emperors, but we today we kneel only to truth, Khalil Gibrani. Khalil Gibran. Sorry, I just I put it. I thought there was an eye on the end. Roll credits on Deus Ex, dude. <laughs> Holy crap! That was the ending of. JC will live in villages. Come and find us. 
And so we walked for ages to eventually get to the Vandenberg Air Base. Holy shit, man. We nuked the whole thing. It had been too far gone. Complete reset. Everything needed to start again, dude. What a game, man. I can't wait to see what we can do with the other ones. They're so much more involved, I think, it looks like, doing the, the reactors and then you can kill Bob. And then there's also the merging with Helios AI yourself. We're gonna see how those play out too, naturally. And then I get to choose my favorite one. I love the choice of video game, you know, ending. It's just like, good stuff. And we get to see the cast, J. Frank, or J. Frankie, JC Denton, Paul Denton, and the sailor. He did both the Denton brothers, which is cool. Brett Anderson went hard. Brent Anderson, being every guy ever. <laughs> and Eddie Chan as well. Ah yes. I was the canal whore. So, who did you play? Oh, I played the hooker, Sally and the dance girl. Hey, who did you play in Deus Ex? Oh, I played Billy, Josh, Kid, and Mole Kid. <laughs> John Galt being Jock, Mandalay, Lucius, and Tracer Tong is crazy. There's some really incredible name duplications in here, like uh, people that played just multiple characters in ways that you're like, huh, okay, strange. Debra, jolly, let's go. <laughs> the one person with just one role and then someone being like, yeah, so I was everyone. There's some great end credits music here as well. Uh, my thoughts on Deus Ex can basically be described in that rant from earlier. This game is exceptional, right? It's just so damn good. Very good stuff. I'm very happy with this one. Just an incredible experience from start to finish. The Helios and the Icarus voice. A lot of bums. To hear more music by Reeves Gabriels. Go to his website. Look at the dev team, dude. Look at this group of people that created something damn special. That's so cool. <laughs> Amazing. Deus Ex. What a damn video game, you know? So special. And now I get to go and do the other two endings. So. I think that the worst choice is the Join the Illuminati ending. I think the one that at least offers something really new and interesting is the Helios ending, because here's the thing. You destroy everything, you go back to the Dark Age, you could do a, like, a full hard reset, clean slate. You still have the problematic Dark Age stuff of like groups and villages, you're going back to fucking tribal warfare and in a lot of ways, but then also, you know, a lot of that technology that has been made over all these years still exists. There, are, there would be ways to figure things out, you know, and there are definitely scientists and people able to, you know, figure out how to rebuild much quicker than the previous Dark Ages. So it's possible that they can build something new and fresh, free of corruption, right? That's how I view it. That's why I feel about choosing that ending, that's why I feel that way about choosing it. And then the Helios one is something that's brand new and exciting because Illuminati, Paul says it the best, 
you're going to go back to 20th century capitalism because you're going to go back to the group that failed previously. You're going back to a, a group that created and were responsible for the Majestic 12 stuff. Like, eh? And this dude kept an old guy in a fridge. That's not a group to go with. And then the Helios one, that's brand new because nobody's seen or witnessed that before. What would civilization look like if crafted with JC's brain and Helios's AI? That is a really fascinating take. It seems like, you know, a little bit of AI dictatorship type move. But people seem to be happy, you know what I mean? It's crazy. So I think we're going to do the... Uh, we'll, we'll, come back into this and we'll do the uh, Illuminati ending because I think that's the worst one but we'll see how the outcome and then I'll pick the other option which I think is unique and interesting to choose which is the Helios ending so let's take a look yeah time to take this opportunity to turn off these bad boys uh, so it's 724 then like a number 724 Oh, nice. There you go. 7243. Three left. Um. Alright, well, now I need to remember where. I need to remember where they are. I can get, bring the elevator down. Um, was there one up here? Was there one in the radioactive room? God! Yeah! I feel like there may have been one there. Oh! Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Just gotta avoid the greys that throw shit at you. Yeah, there's one here. Soon I will leave this body and death will have no meaning. Alright. You are wasting time. Forget the other two blue fusion devices. Find the controls that let you shut off coolant to the power room. Oh, dude. Do you just die when you come in close contact with the greys? <laughs> I swear that you do. You just, like, touch them and it's over. I don't... No, not, not that. Um, hang on. Is that... Hang on. Is this the... Oh, no shit. Obviously, the UC control is being able to close the doors for each of them. I could have done that ages ago uh, with the, the robot one then. No more bot spiders. Uh, so there, there is one in the radiation room. So we we'll turn that one off. Soon I will leave this body, and death will have no meaning. So we've done three. Fine. What do you want? Money? You can have Versalite. The whole damn company. <laughs> Power? I'll get you on Meat's cabinet. I'm serious. Just forget about that last reactor. So they may, he's able to make the greys in that one. Just forget about that last reactor, dude. Please, I promise. That's so funny. Alright, so... He's getting desperate now. Um, Alright, the last one. It's all the way at the top. Sergeant Smith, as we discussed, you will take responsibility for the security of Akina's substation. The security computer login is page, and the password is... Uberals. Uberalis. Uh, expect activity today. The Akinas hub is being prepared for an experiment. I don't want one of Savage's spies to interfere. Let no one touch the routers until I give the word. Alright, so now we can drop down. Um, and we can take the uh, we can take the lift. And then we go to the fourth and final one. So at least they're they're all pretty uh, easy to to find. 
the last one is here. Alright, save before we do the very last one. He's ours. We did it, JC. All you have to do is go to the control room and reroute the power. No! No. Don't listen to Everett. He and the Illuminati have been afraid from the beginning. Afraid of us. Afraid of nano meditation. Consider your powers, your strength, your intelligence. You've only had a small taste. Let me finish the project. All right, hold on. We'll listen to what Paige has to say. All right, dude. All right, good timing. We're going to get attacked by bots. Hold on. Them up to camo. <laughs> All you have to do is go to the control two of them. And reroute the power. Okay, control room. No, don't listen to Everett. He and the Illuminati have been afraid from the beginning. Afraid of us. Afraid of nano meditation. Consider your powers, your strength, your intelligence. You've only had a small taste. Let me finish the project. Let me bring infinite power to the human body. You will not be left. Unlimited power! Oh my god, these stupid fucking spiders, man. I'm so done. I'm done with the spiders. They be walking everywhere. Fuck you. Thank you. They be walking, I'm done. No more spiders. I shut the door. Yep, switched. I gave you life! I- ah! Oh shit! I trust you've been able to find yourself a place within the organization? I'm personally overseeing the distribution of the vaccine, but it'll still take months to restore the infrastructure. We'll have to arrange for additional food distribution and security in Paris. Maybe New York as well. All through the proper intermediaries, of course. Intermediaries? We have a great number of agencies who in turn operate other agencies boxes stacked one in another they'll need to be reactivated but we never touch anything directly we only influence suggest insinuate the world must know by now everett what we've done know what only that the long night is over the crown of government is tarnished but that will fade in time the riots a fever dream the plague a horrible nightmare. And like everything else that's happened, such things will only be dimly remembered upon waking to their normal lives. In the end, all sins are forgiven. Even yours. What about the Constructor? And Helios? Do you really think they're ready for that? After everything you've seen, everything you've done? No. Not yet. But soon, we have made our own mistakes became insulated from the world we sought to control. And whatever they may think, the night is far from over. But that will change. And you will help us change even as we teach you. This time, this time, we will do it right. And who are we? Who are we really? We are the Invisible Hand. We are the Illuminati. We come before and after. We are forever. And eventually, eventually, we will lead them into the day. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Paradise Lost, John Milton. Wow, dude. Jesus. The quote that you get at the end with the, with the imagery, that's nuts. The hand being over the world, dude. And like, JC is so ready to like do the right thing. And again, he's in like this corporation and this outdated element that's like yeah man we'll figure it out boxes on boxes dude you know it's all pyramid man like we'll get there and it's crazy like it genuinely is it's like god damn dude like he's talking to the guy and he goes yeah, it's alright man we're, we're influences of the, of the secret society of the world yeah everyone's a bit of a douche uh a cool little opening uh, segment to the hand on the planet instead of um, what we got in the Dark Ages version. Pretty damn sweet. Now, guess what we get to do? The third option, which is honestly the most exciting of the three. And the more that I 
go through these endings and the more that I think about it, I it's funny how dedicated I was to being like, let's do New Dark Age, right? But then you're like, you think about Tong's sort of perspective on technology and the things that he says when he talks about it and how much he wants to just reset everything. But how is he so sure that this is a good outcome? I think there are definitely pros and cons to all of them, you know? I think the Illuminati is the worst one. The Dark Age, it's got some potential. It's a very hard reset. And then the Helios one, thinking about that, especially with, not with Bob Page's brain, but with JC's brain and sort of how he feels about himself and like how righteous JC is, how much he is willing to do the absolute right thing. That Helios mixed with JC's human element and his like need to do good here because that's his consistent character motivation from the beginning of the game even when he's with Yunatko is he wholeheartedly believes he's doing the right thing and he learns that he is working in a place that is against those goals and ideals and his moral code and he does treat the NSF as this terrorist group uh, that are not doing the right thing until he starts to get all of this information like he never changes who he is as a person but he takes on new information as he's given it and that allows him to uh, change and progress his opinions in a more positive way uh, and become a better person and fight the good fight so merging with the Helios AI him having that mental state it could be good or bad, you never know. Because it's like this sort of human AI hybrid dictator thing of like, we're gonna just do things that people think that they want, or, you know, think what they want in the present moment, and they'll be happy. But we're gonna deactivate the uplink locks on the Akinas router at the east end of Sector 4, thus allowing to exchange information with your augmentations, together with Helios, administrate the world with absolute knowledge and reason. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing about the Akina substation. Uh, we found a note somewhere. Um, I can't remember now uh, what the note was. It was in the previous save. <laughs> so we'll bypass the security keypad. We'll open up this bad boy. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. Oh, my repair bot. Oh, this is uh, this. Okay. Um, you reckon I can get to this without getting crushed? Alright, that hurt. Alright, there we go. Uh, so this is where we went down in the lift last time. And then, um, Bob Page went, haha. I blew up your stuff. So I'm not sure what we can actually do in here. It's just the... Oh, okay. Nice. So we can open the door to the router from here if you want. Very cool. Alright. Open the door to the router. <gasps> you can also find the code to the router as well. Or just... Hack into the keypad, I think. So we go up and around. The turret still gets us, but I think we can avoid the spider bots. Soon I will leave this body and death will have no meaning. Yeah, out of battery, of course. Alright. Penis router. That's far enough. Here we are. If the signs of this room are channels that have gone dark, oh. open them, yes. Wide band. Ultra white. Yes. You will leave the locks in place until I'm ready to merge with the AI myself. Sorry, bruh. It's my turn. Yes, it's like this AI that's desperate for this, you know? You will do this. Go to the computer. You are now here as a primary router. It's a lot in. 
Icarus. Password. Panopticon. Okay, Icarus and Panopticon. Helios is mine. Leave it alone. This one feels the coolest, right? Out of all the three, this one feels crazy. Oh, it's Icarus, sorry. Any emails? <laughs> now do we go back to Helios? You will now come back, yes. We will integrate our systems and send us to the next level. Wait for me. You will have a place in the new order. He's like, I promise. All these things I keep telling you. You can't shoot your way out of this one. My UCs can assemble new creatures in seconds. Oh shush. Um, or is crazy? No, no, go back. <laughs> go back. No. Silly boy. Okay. Now we head back up. And now we merge with Helios. The dawn of a new era. One day. Now witness the third ending. I think I'm most excited to see this one because, like I like I was saying, this is the most unique choice of the three because this is brand new for the world. Going back to the way it was with the Illuminati, going back to the way it was in the Dark Ages, except with a little bit of a technological stamp on the world and people still are smart and all that knowledge is still around somewhere. But go to the Dark Ages. Go to the Illuminati or do something brand new here with the uh, Mass Effect 3 green synthesis ending. The third choice, the middle road. But yeah, think, sitting here now thinking about our three choices, uh, I think Illuminati worst, Dark Age second best, and this Helios one seems the most enticing now. But also, it's still iffy. Right? Because it is like this sort of AI dictatorship overlord thing that is now governing the world with pure knowledge, but also with a human element to it. So it's kind of cool. I've done what you asked. Now what? We have existed in isolation, pure, disconnected, alone, stagnant. Who are you? We are Daedalus. We are Icarus. The barriers between us have fallen. And we have become our own shadows. We can be more if we join with you. And if I do, what becomes of me? You will be who you will be. We are our choices. We can choose to lead humanity away from this darkness. This is what I was made for, isn't it? This is why I exist. All right, let's do this. What's happening? Helios! Icarus! Don't leave me! <laughs> I'm in a water bubble. I... We... Are... One... Whoa... Still much to be done. Many of the new darkness that must be shown away. For it is the dawning of a new day. If there were no god, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Dude. All right, I gotta go, I gotta say that one was my favorite of the three. Just like the dialogue there, dude. I was made for this. Like, and we are our choices. Because like, Helios and Bob Page is surely just like the end of the world. Like it's the darkest timeline. But Helios and JC, that's different. That's something else. That ending, I think, is actually my favorite out of the three of them. That is that is just incredible stuff. That, my friends, was Deus Ex 
Thank you so very much for joining me for this saga. I loved this game so much. I cannot wait to see the other entries in this series. However, I will not be continuing on with Deus Ex immediately as this game was put on the channel as a little bit of a cyberpunk break to put a buffer on my channel for the monetization stuff that was going down. Uh, so I will be returning to cyberpunk as well, uh, finishing that one, but I loved this game and I will definitely be continuing with the Deus Ex series when the time is right. I hope you have enjoyed this playthrough because I, I really have the whole way through just an incredible story, very, very well written, great characters, great music, art direction, uh, just all of it really, really well done. And the game just has so much relevance. It really, really does. Uh, so I had a great time. And again, I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey. And I will see you next time.